What's up dudes? Today I'm going to be going through my download merch collection, um, all the t-shirts that I've acquired from the years of going and getting stuff on eBay. Uh, when I was first going to download, I was living at home so I had no money for merch, not at all. I think I went to download 2006 with about 20 quid in my pocket um, and food took with me just to survive the whole time. So um, yeah, not buying many t-shirts back in the day. So I've had to go on eBay and Depop and a couple of other places to kind of get those, don't steal them, I want them. I'm joking, you can go and get them if you want. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna run through all the t-shirts. It's pretty cool to see all through the years how the merch has changed, how the download dogs changed, how the signs have changed, um, and it's just be a good look back through the lineups and stuff like that. So stick around if you wanna see that, uh, it's gonna be awesome. Okay, the first one that I have, the oldest t-shirt I own, is a download 2005 t-shirt. When the download dog was pinky purple i think it's supposed to be purple maybe it's a bit faded sort of pinky purple um what an awesome looking t-shirt that is man with like the whole like brain shock thing and then even like the little dog inside the the download sign a little bit of ozfest on the bottom there as well because i think the saturday was um an ozfest day yeah with black sabbath playing and we got an awesome sort of lineup on the back obviously so old but in really good condition this t-shirt looks fantastic but I mean, look at that, man. That's not a bad start. I haven't got uh, a down in 2003 or down in 2004 t-shirts. Um, I'll try and get some, but they're really, really, really hard to find originals now just because they're so old. But uh, yeah, first one kicking off. Look how sick that is. That's the oldest one I own and it's in pretty damn good condition. On to the next one. Okay, the next t-shirt is a download 2006 t-shirt. So again, it's a 14-year-old t-shirt. Obviously this one was bleached, so someone done that themselves. I don't know whether they spilled bleach on it and then done it afterwards. Um, but I got this one on Depop. It's an XL, normally I wear a large, but it looks awesome oversized. The down 2006 ones, I've only ever seen ones that have been absolutely wrecked or they're in a small or something, so I couldn't wear it. Uh, but obviously the person bleached this one and it looks awesome. Look at that line up on the back, man. Look at that, what's that? Tall, Metallica and Guns N' Roses. One of my favorite years at download. And um, an awesome t-shirt as well, man, all bleached up. Got the first year with a red dog on it. And um, yeah, look at that, man, what a t-shirt. Very, very cool. On to the next one. Next up, download 2007. Very green, <laughs> but um, awesome looking shirt, man. What an awesome looking shirt that is. Uh, yeah, that's exactly the same color as the, the background of the poster that was that year. Um, again, I had to buy this one. I think it's extra large. Yeah, the, the older ones look really cool oversized. The new ones, not so much. So in an XL, this actually looks sick because it looks really baggy. Um, but again, in absolutely amazing condition. I don't know who owned this before, but they really, really took care of it. Another one I got, I think, off eBay. But yeah, man, that is a cool looking shirt. Very, very nice. On to the next one. Next up is a Download 2009 t-shirt. Um, I haven't been able to get hold of a 2008 one. Uh, there was like a small and a medium as well, I think, on um, on eBay, but I really, do. I want to wear them, I don't just want to have them, so that they didn't fit me, so I haven't managed to find a 2008 one, so if anyone out there has one, yeah, send it my way, please, but I managed to get my hands on this down in 2009, my favourite ever download year, and um, I must say, very, very cool design t-shirt as well, I remember that was all over the poster, I think it was the 2008 one was very similar, they were using these kind of logos on there, they kept the green dog, it looks on there, and um, on this one, the lineup's absolutely massive on the back. It has faded a little bit. This one, you know, it's probably not in the best condition ever. A bit faded, but I'm just so glad to have a t-shirt of that year because I absolutely loved it. And like I said, I had no money at the time. Uh, I wish I had money because I would have bought a couple of the t-shirts, you know, and kept them in good condition. But I'm really glad that I got my hands on this one. It's a pretty sick t-shirt. Yeah, so that's Download 2009. On to 2010. Download 2010 t-shirt. Very... Uh, very much a t-shirt of the time, I think. I think that perfectly represents <laughs> that kind of noughties era before when we were just going into the um, the 2010s, but still a very cool looking t-shirt. I actually had the same one I bought in medium. This is a large, um, but it had a rip at the top. So I wanted to get another one, but I managed to get my hands on this one. And um, it's really nice, really, really comfy actually. It's made from a different material uh, from the others, but that's actually a pretty sick t-shirt. And on the back we've got the lineup, but the weird thing is, no ACDC. So I don't know if other t-shirts were misprinted that year or ACDC didn't want their names on anything. If anyone could tell me why that happened or they were just a misprint on this particular one, um, yeah, let me know because it's an awesome t-shirt, but no ACDC on the back. Just says them crooked vultures. 
What a mistake that was, someone got fired. But yeah, anyway, really, really cool. Goes right across the shirt. Pretty awesome, completely different to the whole rest of the um, set of merch. Uh, but you can see as it goes on, you know, the download symbol and everything sort of becoming sort of aligned with what it kind of is today and how they've kept it the whole time. But yeah, that's an awesome one. Uh, on to 2011. Download 2011. Um, it's kind of got that faded kind of, you know, rock and roll t-shirt look. I'm not really too fond of that on my t-shirts. Are those t-shirts in HMV you buy where they look, they already look faded? That's, that's not me. I like to buy t-shirts that look like they're actually new, but hey, each to their own. Um, but yeah, still quite a nice looking t-shirt. It's got the old um, download dog there as kind of like an angel with download 2011 on it. I like the way that the downloads kind of like almost got flames in it, which looks pretty cool. And got the lineup on the back as well, a little bit smaller, right in the middle of the t-shirt. Not sure I'm too keen on that either. I prefer it bigger. So yeah, this isn't one of my favourite bits of merch, but you know, I had to have it. Um, and it actually is really comfy as well. Is it one of those Gildan ones? Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. Um, so yeah, awesome t-shirt. Um, I didn't actually go to download this year, so you know, it's not, I'm not really too fond of it. Um, but yeah, I was great to get hold of it. And um, let's go on to the next one. This one is the most recent bit of merch I've bought. It's, um, it was for the download 10th anniversary from 2012, but download started in 2003. So why wasn't the 10th anniversary in 2013? Who knows? Um, but anyway, yeah, this one's just a plain, nothing on the back, literally, just a download symbol. But I like this one, it's really cool. That positioning of that sits really well um, on me. Just like, boom, looks sick. Uh, but yeah, I really like this t-shirt and I got it for really, really cheap and it's in really, really good nick as well. So uh, I was glad to get this one. Again, another download year that I didn't go to, um, but I really, really wanted a piece of merch. I don't have anything from 2013 at the moment um, or 2014 or 2015. So I've been looking at stuff to get for those years, but for some reason, either people are holding on to their merch from those years because they're not quite as old um, or people just aren't selling it. So. I'm going to try my best to get it, but after this, we're going to skip to uh, my first year back at Download after 2013, 2016. Okay, for 2016, I actually only have a hoodie, um, but it is pretty nice. I got this after. Wish I had it then, because it fucking poured down. I got soaked. Uh, nothing on the back of this one. It's just plain. Um, I got it on eBay. Don't know if it's a reprint. Don't think it's an original unless the Download were doing something this plain, but I wouldn't have thought it. Um, but again, really cool design on the front. Really nice, I actually wore this to work today. It's um, pretty damn comfy. So yeah, that's the only merch that I managed to get from 2016. All right, now this t-shirt from 2017 is honestly one of my favorite bits of download merch. Soon as I saw that there, I had to buy it. What an awesome design for Download Festival. That real kind of death metal, black metal kind of vibe. I absolutely loved it. Bought it straight away, got a big old. It's quite nice, the comparison with the just white on one side and just red on the other side. They should do more like this, because I'm guessing it was quite a popular one, but um, that is a really awesome, awesome t-shirt design. One of my favorites and really sick. There's a few of them floating around as well on eBay, so you guys should go and, um, and pick them up because uh, that's a nice tasty bit of merch. Okay, right into the present time, 2018. Um, again, one of my favorite looking pieces of download match. Just simple design, that new kind of download style font with a black outline down the side, the dog, and then the dog at the top, um, and the rest of the lineup on the bottom. What an awesome looking t-shirt, you know, just simple as, but um, it fits really well as well. This is a really nice t-shirt, so what are they using? Are they still using the Gildan? This is the soft style one. Really nice. Um, haven't seen many of these floating around. I think people are probably keeping hold of them now because they're really nice t-shirts. But yeah, really sick. 2018, man, that's awesome. Right, on to the last download year, 2019. Okay, for 2019, I got quite a few. I got three different pieces. Um, that's what I mean. Merch has just become so accessible now for download and they do so much of it um, that, you know, it's easy just to go on there and pick up a couple of t-shirts, really, like, like you would with band merch. So um, yeah, really well done to the team there with the merchandising. It's just getting more and more awesome to just get, you can basically have your whole bloody house download now, which is great. Um, so yeah, this one again, just your standard British flag and you can see sort of imprinted in it is the download stage. I don't know who's playing. 
I can't work it out. But yeah, really nice t-shirt, man. I love the download that they're doing now on the sides. Just adds another really cool thing to it. And then obviously, the um, they line up in the background with the colors of the bands that they have on the thing. So that's a pretty awesome one. Okay, I've got two pieces that are very, very, very similar. Um, the download dog heads. Um, I got the vest version, which has um, download sort of down the side. Nothing on the back, but you know, if you've got the tats and you want to show them off, I thought the vest was pretty cool. They should do more vest versions, I think, of the um, of the rest of the t-shirts. And then there's the t-shirt version, again, with the awesome download white on the sleeve, which is cool. I mean, we all know the download dog if you've been there before. It's just such an awesome little place to meet up and just take photos. And it's, just, it's become such a landmark at the download site now, but it always looks so cool in the evening. Love that. And, um, yeah, and then the uh, the lineup on the back. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and I have one more t-shirt from this year. Yeah, and finally, the last t-shirt from this year, um, the um, download lives in here on the old heart. They were definitely pulling on the heartstrings of everyone to sell that. I'm pretty sure it was 2020, I think it was. Um, with download just on the back. I mean, lovely plain t-shirt, but I like t-shirts that just have like a, one symbol um on each side but yeah come on man that's download really does live in there for a lot of us um so yeah that's the last t-shirt i also picked up this year um these download shorts which is <laughs> i was like oh my god i'm going so overboard just buying all this download stuff um but yeah it says they're download and it's got all the kind of like totems on the side but they're actually like they're great lounge pants because they're really stretchy and they're um <laughs> they're really comfy as well but yes, I'm sad. Um, <laughs> nah, it's awesome, man. I, lo I love collecting the merch. Um, it's just another dimension to Download Festival and there's so many old pieces out there that I want to get my hands on and I love kind of just searching around and trying to get them and trying to outbid people for them on eBay and all that. A couple of bastards out there got a few things off me, but hey, that's the world, you know, other people have to get stuff as well. Yeah, so awesome, man. I, I love doing it. Um, and collecting all this download merch. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and um, you know, like and subscribe on the channel. I'm gonna do loads of videos coming up soon. I'm gonna do my top 10 songs from each band that's playing download. Uh, I'm also gonna do my download playlist video. I've done a massive playlist for all the bands that I love at Download 2021. Uh, I'm gonna do a video on that and go through everything as well and just talk music basically. So um, thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much. Um, like and subscribe if you can, that would be great. Um, and yeah, man, I'll see you in the next video.